So welcome back. This week what we're going to do is make one of these. So this is a Jean-Michael Lacliche horn profile. You can see uh, how it curves around. This is a high frequency horn from about 3K and up. We're using a BMS driver. So I've already built this one. Now another client wants the same horn but with a Celestian compression driver. So a little bit different so I make each horn custom to the specific compression driver and it does matter. So I'll show you that in a bit. So the first thing to do is to start the design and I use SolidWorks so let's take a look at that. Okay so here's the horn drawn in SolidWorks and I'm just going to talk about it a little bit so one thing to note about the Celestian compression driver so it's a model CDX1 1425 it's a small format compression driver from about 2500 Hertz is the lowest recommended crossover point so if we look at some pictures of this compression driver you see that the exit angle actually is inverted so our horn is actually going to have to start out going smaller and then flare out to the horn profile. So if we go to the solid works. So if you see the uh, actual curve that I've created, you can see what I've done here is I've actually started at 11 degrees inverted and then slowly trans transitioned out to the horn shape. Okay, to start out, you start out with a block of maple and for the horn that I showed you, I had cut out the, the uh, raw shape just on my bandsaw. However, I want to take the next horn a little step further and kind of combine some woods. And so I have this here, it's like a zebra wood, it's extremely hard. And so I want to layer um, some uh, maple with this zebra wood and so that when you turn the horn you have combinations of the two different woods so what I've done I'm just going to move my camera here is I've I've glued uh, together uh, two layers of one inch thick maple and then I've put the zebra wood which is about three eighths of an eight three eighths of an inch thick uh, there and so I'll be able to cut those out on my bandsaw and start turning it 